I know you all just sit down, but if you'll please rise for the prayer. Lord, thank you for gathering us all here today. And thank you for guiding us through our elementary, middle, and high school career. Through my 12 years in school, my classmates have grown to be like a family to me, and so have the faculty and staff. And I know all my peers share that same feeling. This is a very emotional day for us all as we take the transition from our high school career into the next step of life. And I also know it's an emotional day for our loved ones and our relatives. So please be with them, help to guide their emotions, and help them to lift this burden and just feel happiness for this step that we are taking in life. Please be with me and all of my classmates as we start our college career. Please guide us and let us make choices that will benefit us for life. Lord, I just want to thank you for all that you have blessed us with. And thank you for blessing me with a good group of classmates. I'm forever grateful. Amen. You may be seated. Good evening, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get started, I would just like to say that BSN is streaming this live uh, via Facebook and YouTube. Also, Scott Holland will be taking professional photography during the event. So he'll be in this area right here. We do get those pictures and we will give those to the parents. A graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion. The culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of successes achieved. So it is only fitting that tonight we commemorate the road that you have all traveled together these last few years. It has been a journey that started with tentative steps, perhaps, but one that has taken you to the remarkable heights. You have encountered some trials and tribulations along the way, soldiered on, and come out of, come out of it stronger for them. You have experienced exceptional moments, magical moments, and created memories that will be fondly remembered in years ahead. Henry Ford wisely said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is a success. As we look back over the last few years, certainly there, there was a beginning, and thankfully, there was also progress, and yes, undeniably, we have been successful. We all came together with a common purpose in mind to encourage and develop lifelong learning in the young ladies and gentlemen who sit before us this evening. Steadfast, resolute, and determined, we all kept together. Day by day, we focused on our goals, keeping together and working together. We faced some incredible and memorable moments, moments that we close, chose to use as stepping stones as we ten tenaciously pursued our common goals. and what progress we've made. The end results, ladies and gentlemen, of our coming together, keeping together and working together, in spite of the obstacles that may have faced along the way, the end result is the graduating class of 2021. We are so proud of the success that you have made with the opportunities that you were offered. You are ready, willing, and more than able to grasp the torch that we bestowed upon you. Yours is the future, and on you the world will become to depend. Greetings, fa friends, families, teachers, and all of the Jackson Independent School District staff. First, I would like to thank all of you, from teachers to friends and family, for being in attendance this evening. You have all had a profound impact on the development of the students that will be graduating today. I feel it is safe to say that I speak on behalf of the whole graduating class of 2021 and thanking you all for all of your efforts that you have invested in us to this day. 
Today is no small feat. It perhaps is the most significant and life-altering achievement most of us can claim to this day. Never hesitate to recognize how proud each person here today is for you to complete such a long and challenging task. Having worked for over 12 years just for this moment, it is hard to ignore the determination, perseverance, perseverance, patience, hard work, and even sacrifice that embodies itself in the attitudes of every graduate. I do not doubt that every graduate here will find a way to succeed in their life, and I encourage all of you to pursue what is most dear to you. Pursue that in which you feel you can make a difference. Throughout my years in high school, I have gained a knowledge of, of the subjects that I've studied, but I have learned many other lessons. At times, I know some of you question the need to attend class, but gaining intelligence is not only its purpose. The school has helped to build invaluable social skills as well as instilled a value to succeed. Even if something seems hard to overcome and stand up, having the correct mindset makes all the difference. If you believe you can achieve anything and don't allow others to tell you differently, what you are capable, capable of achieving is remarkable. I encourage you, the class of 2021, to not only follow the opportunities available to you, but to follow your hearts and to pursue a cause of particular importance to you. Instead of following the, past, the path of past generations in graduating classes, I challenge you all to make your own path. The risks are always present, but you will learn from the mistakes you make and will be able to stand up through that experience. Thank all of you again for participating in our graduating ceremony and giving us tremendous support that made us grow to step out to another world. Good evening, everyone. I would like to first thank everyone for attending this ceremony today. It is such an honor to be here and share this experience with the best classmates that I could have asked for. When I was told that I would be valedictorian at graduation, I had almost cried. Not because I had received such wonderful news, but because I obviously had to give a speech. Now, I definitely take my big mouth from my father, not only that, but also his skills of giving speeches. Keep in mind that my dad is horrible at giving speeches. I always thought that I would be at Jackson City School for forever, and by forever, I mean that it wouldn't go by so fast. Jackson City is my home. Even though I've had days where I didn't want to come to school, like when having to take a big school test, I still enjoyed each and every day here. I will miss each and every one of the teachers, faculty, and most of all, my classmates. We have grew up together and have had shared so many amazing memories that I will never forget. I would like to start off by thanking all of my teachers and the staff for all of the hard work that they put in daily. I would like to thank Mr. Sewell for providing me with knowledge and interesting stories, Ms. Bowling for listening to my daily rants and always being there to talk to, Ms. Henson for giving great advice and answering all of my questions even though I asked so many, Mr. Coots for, being, for having one of the best pre-cal classes and being our personal countdown for the days that we had left of school. Mr. Couch for always being there to support me and letting me use his amazing microwave. Miss Lill for being my second mom and teaching me to always have a kind heart. Miss Trent for making me laugh and telling the funniest jokes and stories. Miss Dixie for being an amazing Y Club leader and a wonderful person to talk to. Miss Gillum and Mr. Siegel for always willing to help me with my math struggles. And Miss Davidson and Miss Works for being the best navigators through Disney World on our senior trip. I would like to also thank my family for supporting me since day one. All of these wonderful people, people that I have mentioned, including many more, have got me to where I am today. 
The thing that I'll miss most about Jackson City School is the fun times that we have. I will never forget the amazing memories and stories to tell. For instance, when we had a lockdown drill my junior year, Mr. Coots had tripped and fell and we could not stop laughing. I believe we even received a noise complaint, which only made us laugh even more. I will also never forget the Carnegie days we had in Ms. Rohr's class and the CNN news that everybody loved on Fridays. I will, never, I will never forget the lunchtime entertainment or the acts at the Holiday Bazaar. I will most definitely never forget the dreadful day at Epcot when everybody was so exhausted on senior trip. I will miss all the fun field trips and bus rides, but most of all, I will miss being with my classmates who are basically my family. I would have never guessed that my high school years would have come and go so fast. I want to wish all my classmates the best of luck for their future dreams and goals. Although we have learned so many new things at Jackson Independent, we are starting a new chapter in our lives and will be facing so many new things. Overall, I want to say a final goodbye to my school and give the best of luck to the future graduates. Thank you. As we all know, I'm the crazy animal obsessed guy in my class. I'm sure many of my classmates can recall the times I would bring my chicken to school to do tricks or snuck a rooster in a drama class and it crowed, giving away my excellent job at hiding it. One thing I have learned is that high school and raising animals is actually very similar. Whenever I raise my animals, I always do my best to take care of them to the best of my ability, while also taking care of myself. Throughout life, I have lived by a strict moral code that I will not cross, and I encourage my classmates to do the same. Things that seem fun and harmless now can end up being regretful activities in the future. We are all gen genuinely good people, and I hope all of us continue to be throughout our lives. Farming is also a constant learning experience. I went from, own from owning eight chickens, multiple goats, sheep, and other poultry in the span of five years. Many of my teachers are like animals, too. Miss Warwick's is like a homing pigeon. She loves to travel but she always finds her way back home. Miss Bowling Stacy is like a sheep, meek, mild, and lovable. Mr. Coots is like a rabbit. He's good at multiplying. Enjoy the math fun. Miss Rourke is like a bantam rooster. She may be little, but she is full of spunk and personality. Miss Handsome Little is like a goose. She is elegant and always looking out for her flock. Dr. Green is like a livestock guardian dog. He always protects us and wants what's best for the farm. And as for Mr. Sewell, well, we all know he's a wise old goat. That's why a goat stands for greatest of all time. I've learned many things about life from both school and working on my backyard barnyard. The most valuable lesson is to never lose sight of your goals. My goal in high school is to make a lasting impression on my school and my peers for the better. I believe I have accomplished this goal, and I hope to be remembered long after I'm gone as a proud Jackson City Tiger. As for my farming goal, when late July rolls around, the sheep I'm raising are going to taste pretty good. In closing, I would just like to thank my family, my loved ones, and the faculty of Jackson City School for helping to shape the young man I am today. I'll never forget you all, and I am eternally grateful. Thank you.
Greetings. I realize that it is somewhat unconventional for me to be speaking at today's ceremony. I have not been at Jackson City School for the past two years, as I have instead been attending Moorhead State University's Craft Academy. Likewise, I cannot speak to many of the common themes that one would typically explore in a valedictorian address. I miss the countless bonding experiences that you all have shared in my absence, along with all of the achievements and hardships that our class has attained and endured. Despite this, you all remained in my thoughts in the time I was away. Being a craft presented me with the opportunity to realize how truly unique a school like Jackson is. Of all the students I met from across the state, none came from a school remotely similar to our own. Our small stature and close-knit community is nothing short of an anomaly. We know each individual that we have gone to high school with on a personal level. We all have specific memories of everyone that we have crossed paths with in our time as students. While some of you may not have considered this until now, this is in no way normal. Most high schools have student bodies that extend into the hundreds, if not thousands. So while it may be frustrating at times to be surrounded by the same people every day, we should recognize how fortunate we've been in this regard. Our educational environment has been catered to our growth, success, and happiness since the day we began school here, something we should forever be appreciative of. With this foundation, we now have the opportunity to move forward with our own endeavors, whether they entail attending college, pursuing a trade, or exploring a different career path. The time has come for our journeys to diverge. And while this realization is saddening, it is not something that we should dwell on. Time is an unwavering force in life, but our experiences and memories will move forward with us. In this way, our school motto will forever remain true. Once we have been a tiger, we will always be a tiger. Thank you. Loyalty and endurance. These are just two of the words that come to mind when thinking of my soon-to-be alma mater. We always hear the phrase, once a tiger, always a tiger. What does this phrase truly mean? I think that to many people, this phrase means a lot of different things. To me, one of those things is loyalty. Loyalty to always remember your roots and to never forget who and what have helped you to get where you are. It means being devoted to our little school on the hill and recognizing the impact that it has had on our ability to launch into the future. I am beyond proud to be able to say that Jackson City is the institution that has prepared me for adventures yet to come. It is a special feeling knowing that I have been able to be part of the extraordinary community that we have created here. Being at the same school from preschool through senior year is an experience that very few are lucky enough to ever be able to have. There is something about attending such a small close-knit school that is hard to understand if you've never been able to experience it. As the fourth out of six kids in my family to graduate as a Tiger, there has not been a time in the more than 13 years that I have attended Jackson City that I have not had at least two siblings right down the hall from me. Throughout my time here, I have also gained several lifelong friends that are now considered family, who I know will be supporting me in all my future adventures, no matter where they take me. Along with loyalty, once a Tiger, always a tire, Tiger also means endurance. I remember our little school falling on tough times when we weren't even sure the, door, the doors would be able to remain open. I also remember at the same time that everyone pulled together and did everything they could to keep this little school going strong. This just goes to show how deeply this school is loved. Endurance means the ability to withstand hardships and adversity. Every time this little school has faced either, we have always come out stronger. There is a saying that the strength of the tiger is found in its pack, and when our pack pulls together against a common obstacle, we never truly lose. As we step out on our own and move on to bigger and better things, it is important to remember that we carry the strength of the entire pack with us. I will definitely miss walking down these halls seeing so many familiar faces. I will miss being with the same group of people every day and knowing that I have a community standing beside me. To my classmates, I wish you all the best and I know that each one of you will accomplish so much. 
To my teachers, coaches, and all-around supporters, thank you for always pushing me to go the extra mile as we do so often in Jackson City. To my parents, thank you for showing up and for making me who I am. And lastly, to Jackson City, thank you for everything. I will take with me the fierce loyalty and endurance that I have learned here. It is, it is admittedly hard to imagine not attending this little school on the hill, but no matter where I end up, I know that I will truly always be a Tiger. Good evening. To the parents, teachers, staff, and the class of 2021, I thank you for attending this graduation ceremony. It is my great honor to be standing in front of you commemorating the memories and accomplishments of myself and my fellow classmates. Now, I'm not the kind of person who usually gives speeches, but I promise to try to make these words worthy of this time. As I stand in front of you today, I can't help but remember a few verses from James chapter 4 that truly embody what I want to say. They read as follows. Come now, you who say today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business, and make a profit. You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. This life is precious and it only lasts for a short time. Sure, it may seem like it will be forever before we're old and frail, but we fail to realize that it may happen sooner than we think. The truth is that before we know it, we will be 60 years old sitting in our houses in an old rocking chair, staring out the window and recalling the memories of our early life. Many of us may not remember one another, but I know that some will never forget the people they grew up with. I hope that I never do. I ask that you cherish these memories and every moment you spend on this earth, for we do not know when our time is up. These memories that I have made here inside this little school on the hill will forever stay with me, from the school fights to the class drama in elementary and middle school, to the field trips and to the unexpected quarantine. I will carry these memories with me wherever I go. They are part of me, and I am sure that they are part of you. For those of you who may not know this class as well as I do, allow me to give you an insight into just how credible they really are. From the perspective of someone who is quiet and never really spoke a word, yet who is quite observant, I can say that everyone here will go far in some way or another. I know this because I have spent my entire life around most of these people, from kindergarten all the way to our final year of high school. Some may become doctors and nurses, others, engineers, and veterans, and some may not know where they'll end up. Regardless of where we all go, I want to say that I'm proud of all of you, no matter how meaningless that may seem. To the parents, I want to thank you for everything you've done for us. To the teachers and staff, thank you for your endless support and for putting up with us all these years. And to my fellow classmates, thank you for making the early years of my life the absolute best. I wouldn't change a thing. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. To conclude this, I also want to give one final thank you to Mr. Sewell. Since you are retiring this year, I want to point out how grateful I am to have been one of your students. You and your classes have inspired me to work hard at everything I do, and I probably wouldn't be the student I am today without you. So on behalf of myself and my fellow classmates, thank you for being one of the best teachers ever.
At this time, Janie Griffith is going to rep, uh, present the Daughters of the American Revolution Citizenship Award. It always feels like coming home when I come back to Jackson to present this award. I started my first grade here and I ended my teaching career here. That's 30 years. That being said, I'd like to present this award tonight. And this is a citizenship award. It doesn't have anything to do with academics. It goes to a person who has demonstrated good citizenship skills and a love for other people throughout their high school career. Uh, the Daughters of the American Revolution have been, we've been presenting this award in both high schools since the 1940s at Breathitt and Jackson City School. In order to qualify for this award, a student needs to show the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. At this time, I'd like for Alexis Patrick to come forward and accept this award. And she also receives a check for $100, a pen, and a certificate from the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution. So Irvin Allen is not, was not able to um, attend, but he was going to present the Jackson Kiwanis Citizenship Award that went to Ethan Pugh, and Ethan, I'm sure that they'll get you that award. If everyone would please rise and join me in the singing of the alma mater, the lyrics can be found in your program. High up in Kentucky's mountains nestled in the hills Stands our dear old alma mater how we love her still. Truth will ever be our motto. May we worthy be of thy praise, dear alma mater, through eternity. We shall ne'er forget our high school years, which now are gone. But the memory ever fresh will through the years live on. On to future goals undreamed up, on to victory. This our cry, dear alma mater, Jackson High for I. You may be seated. If you will remain seated and watch the two televisions, their media presentation will be on those.
Superintendent Green, Jackson Independent Board of Education members, it is my honor and pleasure to inform you that these seniors have met or exceeded the requirements set forth by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Jackson Independent School District to receive their diplomas and become graduates of the Jackson City School. Will the first row please rise? Isaac Allen Bostron. <laughs> Joseph Drew Botner. Sailor Bowling. <laughs> Erica Faith Clyburn. <laughs> Natalie Fugit. Trevor Ray Fugit. <laughs> Rachel Olivia Griffith. Micah J. Henson. <laughs> Jaden S. Jett. Brandon Scott Johnson. Sarah Mullins. Brayden Noble. Hannah Perlan Noble. <laughs> Alexis Renee Patrick. Ethan Kinley Pugh.
Cameron Snowden. Christiana Cora Nicole Turner. Hannah N. Turner. So let's give this group one, another big round of applause. So I just want to, uh, to kind of close things out. The first thing I want to do is just take a moment to say thank you to everybody here in this, in this uh, gym today. Um, it's, been a, it's been a trying year, and, but we, we've, we've made it. And we're at the end. Um, parents, family members, thank you all so much for everything you've had to endure this year. Faculty and staff, I know, I realize that this year has been different than anything that any of us have ever experienced. Uh, but we persevered, and I feel like that we made the best of the situation we were dealt. Our seniors, if you guys can deal with what you've had to deal with for the past year, uh, I feel like that I feel very comfortable you guys are going to be very successful throughout uh, the rest of your life because you, we, we've seen you guys deal with this and handle it, and you're here today, and I'm extremely proud of all of you. Um, the, the one message I have, just real quick, is I know just knowing you and knowing what I have learned about you for the past two and a half years I've been here is you guys are destined for greatness. I mean, it's going to be amazing over the course of the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years to see all the things that this group accomplishes. I know that you guys are going to carry on that tradition of, of, of the Jackson City way that you go out and you're going to do great things. But I also want you to make sure you enjoy the moment, okay? Because we didn't see a year and a half ago what we had to endure coming. None of us saw it. And then all of a sudden, boom, it was on us, and it disrupted everything about us. And so what I, my message is, is we, you have to live life to the fullest. You, while we know you guys are destined for greatness, and we know that the future's bright, we really don't know what tomorrow holds for us. And because we don't know what tomorrow holds, you need to make sure that you live today to its fullest. Live every day to its fullest. Don't let a day pass that you sit by and say, you know, well, I don't know about that day. Live it to its fullest. Live life, okay? I am super proud of you guys. You guys are awesome, and you guys are going to go on and do great things. With that being said, uh, it is my pleasure to say at this time, on behalf of the Jackson Independent School Board, I am proud to announce you graduates of Jackson City School. I do want to say at the conclusion of the program, our group will be going out these doors here and they'll be coming and lining up on the wall down here and they'll form a receiving line. So if anybody wants to go down and greet the seniors, uh, feel free to do that. Uh, quickly, let's one last time, let's give them one large round of applause. And again, I look so forward to seeing all the things that you guys are going to accomplish over the next, you know, uh, 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 decades. And, and I know you're destined to do great things. With this, this concludes our pro program. Good luck and God bless. <laughs>